Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video and today we'll be working question 6 from the January 2001 Mathematics Paper 2. So let's go. So question 6 says, in this question we're taking pi to be 22 over 7 and it says the diagram below shows a, rectang a rectangular tank with base 50 centimeter by 40 centimeter that is used to store water. The tank is currently filled with water to a depth of 15 centimeters and all of that is illustrated on the diagram. So part A says calculate the volume of water in the tank. So what we know is that volume for a rectangular a rectangular shaped um, object is volume is equal to length times width times height. So therefore the volume for this would then be simply 50 centimeters times 40 centimeters multiplied by 15 centimeters. And when you put all of that in your calculator, you get the volume to be 30,000 centimeters cubed. And that is our answer for the volume of water that is currently in the tank. Part B now says the cylindrical container shown in the diagram below is used to fetch more water to fill the rectangular tank. It says the container which is completely filled with water, so this cylindrical container is completely filled with water and has a radius of 20 centimeter and a height of 21 centimeter. It says all the water in this container is now added to the container in the rectangular tank that was on the slide before. So now we're calculating the total volume of water that is now in the rectangular tank. So first to calculate the total amount of water that is now in the rectangular tank, we first have to calculate the volume of water that is in this cylindrical container. So what we know is that volume of a cylinder is equal to volume is equal to pi r squared multiplied by height. On the previous slide, it told, it told us that we are using pi in this question to be 22 over 7. The radius is given as 20 centimeter and we have our height of 21 centimeter. So therefore, volume is equal to 22 over 7 multiplied by 20 square, which is our radius square, multiplied by our height of this cylindrical container, which is 21. So what we'll do is go ahead and square our 20, which will give us 400. And we can say 7 into itself goes one time, 7 into 21 goes three times. So what we have remaining is volume is equal to 22 multiplied by 400 multiplied by 3. Again, we get the 3 by saying 7 into itself goes 1 time, 7 into 21 goes 3 times. So what we have to do now is to go ahead and put this in our calculator to calculate our volume. So therefore, the volume for this cylindrical container is 26,400 centimeter cube. So we fulfilled that part of the question. So now we're calculating the total volume of water that is now in the rectangular tank. So now we're pouring this 26,400 centimeter cube of water into the cylindrical, into the rectangular tank, sorry, that we calculated before. And remember, current what is in the volume that is in the rectangular tank is 30,000 centimeter cube. So therefore to calculate the total volume, it would be the 30,000 centimeter cube that is already in the rectangular tank plus this 26,400 centimeter cube that we're now adding. And when we add that, we'll get 56,400 centimeter cube to be the total volume of water that is now in the rectangular tank. Part C now says, show that the new depth of water in the rectangular tank is 28.2 centimeters. So remember from our formula for a rectangular tank, the volume is equal to length times width times height. We now have our new volume, which is 56,400 centimeter cube, which we just calculated. The length and the width remain the same, which is the 50 by 40. So now we're calculating 
the height and hence when we calculate the height we'll prove that the new depth of water in the rectangular tank is 28.2 so our volume of 56,400 our length and width of 50 times 40 we substitute those into our formula and we're now trying to find our height so 50 by 40 and we'll get 2000 so therefore it is 56,400 centimeter cube is equal to 2000 centimeter square multiplied by our height so now making our height the subject of the formula it is 56,000 centimeter cube divided by our 2000 centimeter square is equal to our height when we put that into our calculator what we'll have is an exact 28.2 centimeter is equal to our height which is the new depth of water in the rectangular tank Part D now says the vertical height of the rectangular tank is 48 centimeter. Determine how many more cylindrical containers of water must be poured into the rectangular tank for it to be completely filled. Now there are different ways of working this question and I'm going to show you the way of I did. So the vertical height of the rectangular tank is 48 centimeter. What we know is that the current height of the water is 28.2 centimeter and that is for the the volume that, that this corresponds to the volume of 56,400. So the current height is 28.2 centimeter. So therefore the remaining height that needs to be filled to have the rectangular tank being completely filled to 48 would be 19.8 centimeters. So I did the vertical height, which is 48, minus the current height of the water, which is 28.2. So therefore there's currently uh let's say basically an empty height of 19.8 centimeter and this is the amount that needs to be filled so from our rectangular um our rectangular basically or rectangular tank um formula the volume is equal to length multiplied by width multiplied by height so now what i'm going to do is calculate how much volume corresponds with this height of 19.8 centimeter so therefore volume would be our length and width is still 50 by 40 or height now that needs to be filled is 19.8 so we're going to put this in our put this into our calculator to calculate the volume now that needs to be filled that corresponds with this 19.8 centimeter so when we do that we get 39,600 centimeter cube so this is the volume that is left to be filled this now we're going to calculate how many containers from our cylindrical container can fill this volume of 39,600. So the total volume that the cylinder holds is 26,400. And remember, we calculated that from part two of the question because the cylindrical container at the time was completely filled at a radius of 20 centimeter and a height of 21 centimeter and it was completely filled so we calculated our volume to be 26,400 so therefore if what needs to be filled that remains to be filled in our rectangular container is 39,600 and each cylinder holds 26,400 um for the volume of water therefore all we need to do is to divide what needs to be filled by how much holes in each container the cylinder and therefore when we do that it would be 39,600 divided by 26,400 and what we'll get is 1.5 more of container of water needs to go into the rectangular tank so therefore basically one and a half of the cylinder will now completely fill the rectangular tank and this is the end of question five and thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you in question oh wait this is question six so we will see you for question seven <laughs>